Welcome back 645 later this month, a national tournament for an international sport will bring thousands of people to Longmont. Uh, you got to try out this Irish tradition. Yeah, and you're Irish, I'm, Ryan. So I, I didn't tried know my about best. this tradition, though. It's pretty fun. And yeah. uh, don't watch too much footage of me trying it from last year, because then you won't <laughs> learn anything about it. Still going. We did that take like five times. I just oh, could not was, hit that, was that ball. That was strike five? That was strike five, yeah. Shield your eyes, Brian. I'm offending your heritage. But in theory, <laughs> we are watching the three national sports of Ireland, Gaelic football, camogie, and hurling, which is thought to be thousands of years old, one of the oldest sports huh. on the planet. They got elements of lacrosse, baseball, soccer, and rugby all combined. Sounds pretty fun, right? <laughs> yeah, easy. That, yeah, 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 and it's a piece of cake, of course. Uh, well, last year, the hurling team from our local club, the Denver Gales, won at the national championship in mm. Boston. And now this month, the USGAA Finals will be coming to the Sandstone Sports Ranch in Longmont. That's the weekend of August 18th. They haven't hosted it in 20 years. It's a huge event. They have around 2,000 players signed up to compete. They got almost 1,000 hotel reservations made. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be imported Irish food and music and three sports I think that your kids would love, Brian. Maybe one day they can try it out with the Denver Gales. They do fun stuff. They're, if they do, it's not going to be with dad because <laughs> I, I'm not near that tough. Just think of how tired your kids would be if <laughs> yeah, they tried it. They'd sleep they would well. love it. And, yeah. and honestly, the sports have an emotional history uh, and significance with the country of Ireland. Yeah, I, I think I think they're a big deal. We're actually um, today, um, August 4th, happens to be a anniversary of a day when Irish sports were played across Ireland in defiance of a British order to ban all Irish sports. And so these sports have a huge cultural meaning um, for anyone who is Irish and um, they're played at the highest level um, at our national tournament. And we're so excited to be hosting it here in, in Colorado. It's beautiful and it's really exhausting. Looks it looks challenging. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it, looks it doesn't like look it. easy. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm trying to hit the ball. I know it's technically yeah. wider than a baseball bat, but I'm just not used to that ball thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't know how it's gravity <laughs> works. So I'm just like, come on, come on, go, go. I do think I would be able to hit the ball, but I wouldn't be able to do the rugby. Yes. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. don't you want a helmet or, or, or shoulder pads That's or something? something? <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and one of them, I can't remember which one, I shot it like two years ago, but in one of them, you kick the ball as you move. Like you, oh, okay. you kick it and then you catch it, like all in one fluid Ooh, motion. Okay. It takes a lot that of coordination. Like lot. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, that's where I'd flop on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's in your blood, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, well, you never know it. Yeah. Right. That'll be so fun in a couple of weekends there in Long Yes, on the 18th. Check it out. It'll be fun.